everybody, this is Osprey from MyChartCoach.com, and we're going to take a look at some of the ticker symbols that were in play today. And um, yeah, you can check us out at our website, MyChartCoach.com. You can check us out um, at our YouTube channel at MyChartCoach.com to view more videos. And you can also join us in our chat for some uh, to, to learn more about technical analysis and how to trade using the charts. Okay, first let's take a look at the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Okay, let's look at the index here. I and DU, uh, um, uh, the Dow Jones Industrial Average here is on this uh, epic run. Look at all these uh, white candles in a row. So, so you're looking at uh, right now uh, a very strong five day run with candles riding EMA4 support higher. It's just breaking out and making uh, continually uh, making all time new highs. How we're going to uh, realize whether or not this uh, run is cooling down or not is by whether or not EMA4 support holds currently at 2460. Uh, and so if there is a close below that level, that's going to be our signal that, the, that this chart is cooling down. As long as candles are riding EMA4 support higher in, in this bullish upper Bollinger Band channel, the uptrend will be very strong and the signal will be, will be to be long the, the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Notice that there was a bullish crossover down here on both time frames. That was signaling more upside potential. Uh, if there is a pullback in EMA4 breaks, you could see a big drop down to EMA8. As long as this middle Bollinger Band holds, the uptrend should continue. So this is a really strong uptrend. Uh, this is unprecedented times. We do have fast dough at 98 right now. So it is uh, you know, pushing max levels. 100 is maxed on fast dough. But if you look at RSI here, it's at 77. And uh, back here on the previous run, uh, back in December, RSI pushed close to 90. So RSI still has some room to, to head higher if you're looking at it compared to previous runs. And, and notice how long RSI stayed above 70 in the past. So, so it just broke 70 recently. So this could be a push for a, a, a new uh, sustained uptrend. It's all going to be a matter of whether or not support holds on the ride higher. So we'll be uh, tracking this chart and we'll be doing updates in the future. Uh, back in play now is the ProShares Ultra Vic Short Term Futures. ETF, the, the U ticker symbol UVXY. Okay, uh, the, the VIX VIX has been pretty uh, flat. It's only down two points from 13 down to 11 in recent times. But while this has been uh, trending pretty much sideways, with slightly down, the, the UVXY has been under immense pressure. Uh, look how huge this drop is over the last couple of months. So it's gone from the uh, you know up here pushing 60 all the way down below 20. And so today there was a bullish development. There was a bounce following multiple red candles in a row. Um, it looks like there was a bearish uh, three gap downs reversal pattern formed. That's And, and it looks like there's possible uh, reverse here today. Um, the, the bullish uh, Harami reversal pattern formed today. So this is a, a, a nice setup for follow through. What's going to need to happen is there needs to be a close above EMA4 at 2030. If there can be a close above that level, then we'll be talking about a potential run up to the EMA8 at 2143. Um, this is a nice start. Um, it's just a dead cat bounce. It will need to follow through and form another white candle above today's close to confirm the reversal pattern. Notice there was a giant volume spike today. So that is always a good sign when you see a big volume spike at the bottom of the chart. If you notice, there hasn't been two white candles in a row since back here in December. So, uh, you know, it will be a bullish change in trend if another white candle forms tomorrow. That will be a signal that volatility is heating up. Notice that uh, there was a bullish crossover on Fasto and that RSI is at oversold levels. Okay, let's look at SHLD, Sears Holding. All right, so this was a, a video that we did last week. Um, on, on this move on Friday when there was the big gap up and a black candle form that was signaling downside risk. Well, support was found on Monday at EMA4 here. That level held. And then today there was a bullish close above the middle Bollinger Band. So the close above the middle Bollinger Band today is signaling more upside potential. If that level currently at 733 holds, a possible new up, uptrend could, could begin. And so we're looking for our next target at, as the 50-day simple moving average at 890. Notice that is lining up with with uh, you know resistance levels back here um, from the the uh, previous uh, pre previous highs, and so so just keep an eye on 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 uh, the 50-day simple moving average. It looks like there could be a run to that level if the middle Bollinger Band holds. The 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 bullish crossovers were were uh, um, a, a nice development. 
down here on MACD. This was signaling the possible start of a new uptrend. And also there was a, a, a PSAR bullish flip last week. So the green dots are now below the candles. There was a bullish crossover on ADX today with the plus, plus DI crossing uh, minus DI to the upside. Keep an eye on RSI, currently at 49.46. If it breaks above 50, that is going to be very bullish for Sears holding, and it will be a signal that the chart is building strength. Okay, let's look at Groupon, GRPN. All right, first thing to take a look at here is you've got RSI now above 50 and in the 50 to 70 bull zone. So that's really heating up. Fasto is now above 80. It is pushing overbought levels. Um, this chart right here is a weekly chart. Since Groupon was breaking out on the daily chart, I decided to use a weekly chart to show you where the next resistance levels are and, and the bullish development that's taking place this week. Notice the bullish crossover on ADX here with the, the green line crossing the red and black lines to the upside. Okay, so since this is a weekly chart, each candle represents what one week of trading the candle for this week will not set until the closing bell on Friday so a lot can change between now and then currently the candle is above the middle Bollinger Band the 50-day simple moving average is the 50-week simple moving average which is the green line and the 100-week moving average which is the gold line so what bulls want to see is they want to see a close above all three levels that would be very bullish and that would signal more upside potential it would uh, uh, be putting the 200-week moving average at 625 and these prior uh, res uh, resistance zones back here about 575 on deck and, and it, you know you'll have to get through the upper Bollinger Band at 506 but this is a really nice start if the middle Bollinger Band can turn into support here this could be the start of a new uptrend for Groupon so the the, the weekly chart is really heating up um, it, you know if there is a pullback in the long upper wick forms what bulls really want to be concerned with is staying above the middle Bollinger Band you know it's got to get above the, the 150 week moving averages as well so if there's a close above 431 for the week that will be very very strong. Notice the big volume behind the move. That's always what bulls want to see. Um, there's a crossover on the 12, 26, and 9 MACD time frame. So that is a signal that, that a new uptrend is starting, and that is being confirmed on the, the 8, 13, and 5 MACD. So those are bullish developments. Okay, so here's the, uh, you know, one of the big uh, winners today was ZSAN. Okay, up 41% uh, today, had a really strong move. Uh, this was alerted a couple days ago uh, when it formed this black candle here on Monday. Um Many times when you get a gap up open and a black candle forms, the candles work their way back into the band, especially if you have uh, the 300-day simple moving average here at 163. You know, So this was a frothy move above the upper Bollinger Band, and with the long pullback, it looked like it was going to uh, possibly uh, consolidate. You know, There was this big volume spike, but I guess the uh, you know it turns out the volume spike was actually people loading. They pulled back the share price. They loaded. This candle yesterday, the white candle, uh, was a, a bullish development. You know, we put out alert saying that this is a positive uh, bullish change in trend. Usually you get a pullback after this candle, so take note. And then today there was big follow through. So really nice push today. This white candle yesterday after the black candle was your signal that 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 the, the bulls were still strong and that it had upside potential. You know, if a red candle had formed, then that would have been signaling downside risk. So, so currently, you know, this upper wick does show some profit taking from today off of high of day. Um, if the candles do work back into the band's EMA 4 at 213 is going to be the key support level to hold. Uh, you, you know, there's big volume behind the move here. And so when, it, when a stock is breaking out, and notice there's still some juice here, but but RSI is all the way up at 91. So, so it's pretty frothy on RSI. Um, it, 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 you know, when it's breaking out, what we like to do is look at the weekly chart. So this is the ZSAN weekly chart. Notice, uh, you know, RSI is overbought on 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 uh, the weekly chart as well. Uh, Fasto did pull back with the, with the upper wick that formed. You know, there was a sell off end of day and so now Fasto is below 80. This is a chart that I put out earlier in the day and um, you know the key development was the break above this uh, 50 week simple moving average at 133 the green line. That was a big signal that there's more upside potential and then the key level to, the break this week is going to be this March resistance. Um, you know th this was a big uh, you know there was support here at, at the two dollar level and then just above 250 turned into big resistance and so uh, you 
you know, you really want to see bull, bulls want to see a close above that level this week, since this candle will not set until the closing bell on Friday. It, it, if it closes below that level, it could be a sign that this is still big resistance, and then you might get consolidation because notice there's a gap between uh, the high of day last week and the low of day this week. If the candles do consolidate and they pull back and they break EMA4 support, you could see a pullback down to the 50 week simple moving average and a gap fill. So the key level to break now, since it's above this uh, resistance from March, is going to be the 100 week moving average at 357. If it can close above that level, then you're talking about a potential run back up to up to 10. And so uh, so this is a huge resistance level. Look back here. You know, this was a, there was a big drop from the, the 8 to 10 zone, and then it came down here to the 3 to 4 zone. And so if it can get above that 100 week moving average, there could be a, a, a big push higher. Fail to break through this resistance zone and you could see consolidation. I mean, it is really promising with this giant volume spike. Look at the money behind this move. Huge volume, huge, huge volume behind this move. So we'll see if this can continue. And, uh, you know, as we always recommend following the intraday charts for trading. Okay, so check out this NVAX chart. This is pretty interesting. Um, you know, it's heated up on RSI, now above 70. You know, you have Fasto that, that pulled back because an upper wick formed in today's candle, but it's, you know, it's below 80. Uh, there was a bullish crossover on ADX. Notice how the green line crossed the black line to the upside. The green line's plus DI, the black line's ADX. What is really interesting here is this long consolidation pattern. Check out, there, there's a long consolidation pattern. And then this week we got a break above the, the 50 day moving average. We put out alerts uh, this week uh, on Monday and Tuesday that there were was a close above the 50 week moving average or 50 day simple moving average and that this chart was heating up. So keep an eye on it. It could break out. And, and we and you know the, the key level to break was the 100 day simple moving average at 147. We were looking for a break above that level and that happened today. So <clears throat> this was a really Nice move above resistance. You know, it closed up 14%. It's not running hard yet, but it, it, it is heating up big time. Notice the volume spike down here. So whenever you see a push above resistance accompanied with a volume spike, notice how it's the largest volume since all the way back in here, September, the last time it had a huge run. So this is all telling you, these are clues that, hey, money is behind this move. People have loaded. You always want to follow the volume. You know, big volume at the bottom of a chart is, is always a signal that, that um, you know, big players have loaded. You know, this has been on a multi-day run. Notice that there's one, two, three, four, you know, there's uh, uh, six uh, green volume bars in a row. So, uh, you know, and the upper wick does show profit taking off of the, the resistance that, that's the top of this section of the channel. And so, um, you know, the, the, there was some profit taking. And so, um, you know, this could be a climax spike. You know, it, it, it seems to me that the chart is just heating up since it just broke the 100 day simple moving average and just broke the middle Bollinger Band. But whenever you get um, a, a break above the upper Bollinger Band and above a key level on a volume spike, you always have to be concerned about a climax spike. Spike. So, you know, if it does pull back tomorrow, you want to look at the, the what we want to see is the 100 day simply moving average hold and EMA4 support at 147 hold. As long as candles stay above that 100 day simply moving average, this chart is going to be super strong with more upside potential. Got to bust through this resistance here. If that happens, then you could see, which is also lined up, you know, I had it lined up here with the uh, bottom of the gap. Notice there is this big gap back here in September. So there was a big drop. Here's the top of the gap. Here's a big space. Here's the bottom of the gap. It came up and filled a little bit of it, pulled all the way back. Currently, the high of day was hitting the, the, the bottom of the gap level. So that's where the top of this wick is here. So if it can break above that, that's always a huge resistance level. Then you can see a big push all the way back up here to, 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 the, to, to the current uh, bottom of this gap fill, the September high close. And, and, and then that's going to be the huge key level. If it can get above the September high close, then you're talking about a potential run up to the 200 day simple moving average and the gap filling. So just keep an eye on this chart. It looks like it's setting up. We like the volume and the move above resistance and uh, we think that it has potential to run higher. Okay, let's look at the next one. NOVN. Okay, this is another healthcare pharmaceutical play. You know, this sector has just been on fire for like three weeks now. It's just been play after play after play. It's pretty overwhelming. I mean, we have so many stocks in play right now that you, we just can't even cover them all. There's just, it, it's just the whole sector is on fire. All these small caps are running. You know, it's just one after another. Um, NOVN is another one. 
Look here uh, for a break above 30 on RSI. That would be a signal that the chart is heating up. You've got FASTO here in the 50 to 80 bull zone. Um, that is a, a um, you know signal that there's uh, more upside potential because the uh, the break above 50 is very bullish. Uh, if you look here, this is a chart we put out earlier in the day. Uh, the, the close yesterday above EMA4 was a signal that this chart was heating up. And then there, we were looking for fall through and a break above EMA8. And that happened today. So that was a really nice fall through. It broke EMA 13, which is this orange line intraday, but it pulled back. So tomorrow 660 is going to be the key level to break. If it can get above EMA 13 and close above that level, then we're talking about a run to the middle Bollinger Band. So that's still some really nice upside potential to the to the key resistance level if it can get past EMA 13. The close today above the bottom of the gap level, notice this is another gap play, was very bullish. This was a signal the chart is really heating up. Notice there was the big drop, consolidation, close above the bottom of the gap. That is a bullish signal that there's more upside potential. Uh, notice the PSAR bullish flip. Notice the giant volume spike and the MACD bullish crossovers. Those are all signals that the chart is heating up. So uh, keep an eye on NOVN. Another one to watch is ANTH. Okay, ANTH is another gap play. Uh, we're looking once again for RSI above 50. Um, FASTO is now all the way up at 91. There was a bullish crossover on ADX. Uh, this chart is really heating up here as well. Notice there was the big gap down huge consolidation and now we've got this uh, move above above resistance um, you notice how the middle Bollinger Band down here is turning into support that's at 58 the dotted line and it closed right here at 71 resistance notice how many times it hit that level and then pulled back so so we're thinking if there's a break above 71 tomorrow that's going to be a very bullish signal that that it could possibly make a run up to this 100 or 50 day simple moving average at 102 that is the next target it's going to have to get past the bottom of the gap level. The bottom of the gap level is very similar to, to let's say, a 200-day simple moving average where it's always going to be a huge resistance level to break. So if we can get above that level, like the last chart we were looking at, it should signal more upside potential and that, that should set up a run to the 50-day simple moving average. This chart is really heating up. Um, you know, fail to break these resistance levels, then the share price will pull back. As long as this middle Bollinger Band is holding, this new uptrend should continue. Notice that there hasn't been an uptrend since the, uh, you know, this whole entire drop. It closed above the middle Bollinger Band, pulled back, and then when you get the close back above right here after testing it, the second confirmation, that's your signal that it's ready to go. So keep take note of that. Um, PSAR bullish flip. Notice the dots are below the candles. Um, you know, this chart is heating up, so keep an eye on A and TH. Um, uh, uh, this is a, a chart that isn't in play yet, but it is setting up. And so keep an eye on JAGX for a bounce. Um, notice it had, you know, we were on this play on the 9th back here when it had this big spike. It pulled back. It was above the. Uh, it hit the 200-day simple moving average. Pulled back into the Bollinger Bands. You know, you have four red candles in a row. Notice how they just walked it down. And then today there was a bounce off of the 100-day simple moving average at 82.1. You know, we're looking for that level to hold. If that level holds, we think it could go back up and retest this upper Bollinger Band and possibly this high close here. You know, give it another test to the to the dollar level to see if it can make a run back up to the 200-day simple moving average. Uh, a, a hammer and a doji did not form today. Neither one of those candles form. It almost formed a doji. Um, if a doji did form today, that would have um, formed a bullish doji star reversal pattern because it, during a downtrend, um, the gap down opened. So this is uh, setting up. It's setting up for a bounce. And um, it looks like if this 100-day simple moving average, moving average holds, it could uh, make a run tomorrow. If it doesn't hold. Um, notice there is this gap here. It's been filling a gap between high of day on this candle and low of day on this candle. So if it goes down to um, to the the top of this candle here, which is about 74 or so, that would fill the gap. So um, you know a gap fill would be a catalyst for a move higher. We'd like to see the 100-day uh, simple moving average hold. If it comes down here and tests the 50-day the simple moving average in the middle Bollinger Band, those will be huge support levels, and those should hold if this uptrend is going to continue. So uh, keep an eye on this for a bounce tomorrow. If you uh, look here at the um, intraday chart. This is the 15-minute chart. You'll see here that it's heating up. There was a, a bullish move above the middle Bollinger Band and above the 50-day simple moving average today. Uh, these candles right here were a clue that it was heating up. It pulled back and it held the 50-day simple moving average. Notice how the close today 
was above the the 50 day simple moving average or 50 day simple moving average which is the green line and above the middle bollinger band so for us th that that is a bullish setup so it is signaling more upside potential it just has to follow through what we're looking for is a break above 87 this 100 day simple 100 uh simple moving average at 87 if it can get above that level then you're talking about uh testing this uh 90 right here and that that would be a, a break above 90 would, would see a retest of the the dollar land so uh, this chart is heating up just has to get above the um, 100 100 uh, simple moving average on the 15 minute chart and then another one to keep an eye on this is NWBO uh, this is uh, unfortunately dropped down to the over the counter um, it you know we've been tracking this play and it looks like it's setting up here it did get a um, close above the 50 50 day simple moving an average here the uh, the the green line and so what we're looking for is a break above the gold line here the 100 day simple moving average at 467 if it can get above that level we're thinking that it could run up to this uh, 200 day simple moving average at 532 if it can break 532 and it, the the 200 day simple moving average and turn it into support it could break out higher you know you could see a potential run back up to these levels um, we'll, we'll see this has been uh, failing to break the 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 100 and the 50 on multiple occasions notice here and here failed to break so um, you, you know maybe the third time will be a charm and if it does since it's been built up with so much pressure <clears throat> pressure with this sideways pattern you could see a breakout higher you know to us it looked like this volume here were, were people loading for a push higher that really sparked our interest so keep an eye on NWBO okay if you enjoy these charts and you'd like to learn more about uh, charts and technical analysis analysis and how to use this information to trade uh, please check us out at mychartcoach.com and join us in our chat okay all everyone's welcome thank you